Okay, I'm about to read what is written here, and I'm going to read it very roundly. David, we appreciate you. David, let us appreciate David. Yes, David, we appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> so romantic today. Okay. <laughs> Paka up and then after food. Come will extra money, you and you show the come and make Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
name is I'm David Mariah Mwangi and I'm so grateful to God for giving us this day. For sure it was a very amazing uh, time, a very amazing day and uh, before anything I will say uh, we appreciate you uh, Mr. Mwaneki. For sure you've been a close friend, amazing friend and this day as we celebrate you we are so grateful that you've uh, taken the initiative to stand firm uh, as a man, to stand firm in your sp uh, spiritual life, to stand firm for your family. And today, all we are saying is that may Almighty God continue to give you strength. May Almighty God continue to give you uh, even more resources. And our prayer is that every day of your life, may you see the goodness of the Lord and may the favor of God accompany you together with your family. And may you forever enjoy the benefits of you serving God with the whole of your heart, with the whole of your mind, with the everything that pertains to you. May you see the benefits of you being in the kingdom of God. We love you so much as our friend. We value you so much. And together with your family, we celebrate you this day. And we say for sure, you are a, you know, a friend indeed. So may God bless you and may he shower all the blessings upon your life together with your family in Jesus name Amen well, I can say I can say thank you for Naomi and Mwangi for the surprise gratitude party because say, the saying that goes around says that uh, gratitude is never silent and Naomi has shown that he's so grateful for Mwangi for standing with him, with her and the family through the time they have gone through because of Jonathan so Narakushkuru Naomi kwa sababu ya ku appreciate Mr. Mwangi and many more. And it's, it's a wake up call to our wives. When you do something good, they need to appreciate because gratitude is never silent. Thank you so much. I thank God for this day. We are here to say thank you to Mr. Mr. Mwangi for being a good father and a present father and a present uh, husband to his dear wife Naomi. May God bless you so much. You are amazing. God bless you. David na Naomi, nataka kuchukua fursa hii kuwashukuru sana kwa sababu ya urafiki ambao tumedumisha tangu wakati Mungu alituleta pamoja. Na najua imekuwa safari na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya uhusiano huo. Uh, nilichukua mzigo huu wa Jonathan tangu wakati alizaliwa na mpaka siku ya leo huwa namuombea kwa sababu mimi ni mzazi na ninajua uchungu wa mtoto. Kwa hivyo nimekuwa nikisimama na Jonathan hiyo mnajua na hata sasa sitaacha nitaendelea kumuombea kwa sababu ninajua makusudi ya Bwana juu ya maisha ya huyu mtoto shetani hata iharibu. Mungu atazidi kumuonekania na kumpigania. Na ushuhuda ambao tumeona katika safari ya ugonjwa tunajua ya kwamba mpango ambao Mungu wako nao juu ya Jonathan ni mkubwa na ninatamani kama vile Hana hakukufa kabla amuone Yesu hata mimi naomba ya kwamba nitakuwa mshuhuda ya yale mambo Mungu atamfanyia Jonathan kwa hivyo Mungu ambariki sana na adumishe ndoa yenu watoto wenu pia awabariki na watende mema wacha ndoa hii ikawe mfano kwa wengi ya kwamba mnaweza mkapatwa na garika katika ndoa na msimame pamoja mkimweka Mungu mbele. Wacha waingi wakapate nguvu na wakapate kumtambua huyu Mungu. Ya kwamba watu wanaweza wakasimama pamoja na uhusiano katika ndoa wakimhusisha Mungu yote yanawezekana. Kwa hivyo nawatakia kila raheli na watakia mema na maisha marefu yaliyojawa na upendo na uhuiano wa Mungu na muweke Mungu mbele katika mambo yenu yote na mtafanikiwa. Mkitafuta rafiki katika maombi, mimi nitakuwa mstari wa mbele. Mungu awabariki sana. Ningependa nianze kusema kwamba nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Ah, kwangu ni surprise, sikuwa nimejua kwamba imepangwa. Mke wangu alipanga na sikujua. Lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu imefanyika. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ameleta uh, ameleta pamoja na familia na marafiki zangu. Niseme kwamba Naomi thank you so much. 
and uh, I want to say that I love you so much. Wewe ndio mke wangu, wewe ndio mama wa watoto wangu. Na I appreciate the great works that you are doing in our family. Nashukuru Mungu maana ni mengi ambayo umefanya. Uangalie watoto wetu wakati mambo imekuwa magumu hujakufa moyo. Mimi iseme pia you've been a good pastor to me. Manilata karibu na Mungu. Nashukuru Mungu zaidi. Niseme asante kwa sababu ya kupanga hii mkutano wa leo. Uh, that we may meet our friends and family and uh, that uh, the public and uh, the world may know that we love one another. Yes, thank you so much for the great surprise. Thank you, Joy, for the involvement. Thank you, my friends. I love you. Na naomba Mungu atuweke pamoja zaidi, atulete karibu zaidi, tushirikiane kwa mambo mengi. Yanayo ni husu, yanayo wa husu, na sio kwamba ni wakati wa huzuni peke yake, hata furaha tuwe pamoja. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you. Asante. Ninaitwa Naomi. Naomi Maina. Watu wengi wananijua Naomi Maina. Wengine wananijua mamake Jonathan. Lakini mimi ni mama ya watoto wengi. Mrs. Mwangi. Ninashukuru kwa sababu ya umbali huu ambao Mungu amenileta na neema ambayo Bwana Bwana amenihimisha nifike hapa nilipo. Haijakuwa ra, safari rahisi. Haijakuwa kitu ambacho unaweza tarajia kurudia. Lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa neema ambayo amenipa kutembea na huyu mtoto. Tangu nilipomzaa ninajua kabisa nilizaa nabii wa Mungu. Na, najua katika mateso ambayo huyu mtoto amepitia siku moja nitakaa chini na nishukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya ujasiri na utukufu wa Mungu utakuwa juu ya huyu mtoto. Nashukuru kwa sababu nimeweza kuita ma, marafiki wa mume wangu ambapo nilitaka kumwapreciate kwa sababu ya ile kazi ngumu amepelekana na mimi na watoto wangu pamoja na wengine ambao wanamhitaji huko katikati hakuta hakuwezi kosa watu wengine wanahitaji msaada wake na hakuna siku ameinua mkono hakuna siku amepata depression na kwa sababu sisi wanawake tunapenda ku, kupewa shukurani na mimi nikawaza nikaona ni vizuri ni mshukuru mume wangu ni mu encourage ndio hata anapotoka na anaenda kufanya kazi na akienda akipigana huko mpaka alete sahani e, ugali mezani ama chakula mezani tukule ajue kuna mke na watoto ambao wanamwapreciate na wanatambua ile kazi kubwa anafanya sikuwa wanaume wengine hawafanyi lakini mimi nilisikia e, huyu mwanaume ni wa maana kwa maisha yangu kwa sababu amenipa furaha amenipatia watoto na ana haja na hawa watoto katika hospitali nyingi ambazo nimeenda hasa kule tunaenda kupeleka mtoto wetu juu ya hii shida yako nayo ya macho nimepata watu wengi ambao wametengwa watu wengi wameambiwa mambo mengi lakini huyu mume amesimama kwa mwanya ametembea na mimi ame ni encourage amenisaidia kusaidia wengine nikienda nimwambie huyu mtu alitengwa hapa aliachwa tunahitaji kumsaidia haniulizaki unaona natumia pesa mingi huwa anarudi kwa mfuko ananiambia tumfanyie hivi na nashukuru Mungu na muombea Mungu baraka za Mungu na sisi wanawake tuko huko nje ambapo tunapitia e, ma, matatizo fulani ama tunaishi katika maisha ya kila siku katika ndoa ningehimiza wamama wamama mama yote ambaye ananiangalia wakati huu e, encourage your husband ataki rudi bila pesa encourage him ataki rudi mara ametumia pesa kama vile haujajua Mungu akupe e, wisdom ndani yako ya kuweza kumuelewa huyu mtu kusimama na yeye maneno ya kumwambia maneno yenye si ya kumwambia wakati wa kumuombea na wakati wa kumwambia kwa sababu pia lazima umwambie na ni lazima umuombee na yeye akwambie na pia akuombee ndoa ni kusaidiana ndoa ni kuelewana elewa mume wako hata kama hana pesa mimi niliolewa hata kama nilikuwa na jina kubwa na nilikuwa na pesa mingi niliolewa na mume wangu kama hana pesa na tulikuwa tunalala chini kwa sakafu tulikuwa tunafunga mlango 
tukifunga mlango tukitoka nje nikivaa nguo zangu mzuri hautajua nimetoka kulala chini hautajua nimetoka kukalia kasturi kale ka plastic hautajua napika na stuff lakini si kupenda mali nilipenda roho nilipenda huyu mwanaume hii roho yake ndio nilipenda nikajua tukishikana na David tutaenda very far na si kuwa hana weakness si kuwa hana hasipatani cha changamoto inazipata lakini ninajua this man ana future na ni He's a, he is a responsible man. And nilipenda David. Si kupenda mali ya David. Si kupenda uhadhamu wake. Si kupenda unono, si kupenda ukonda, si kupenda ufupi. Nilipenda uwanadamu wake. Uwanadamu wake ndio nilipenda. Maana sisi ladies sometimes tunasemaga hatutaki mwanaume kwa sababu hana pesa wengi wanasema digiuma makara ile joke digiuma mogu ile joke doge makara ile lakini mimi nilitaka huyu mwanaume kwa sababu nilijua tukishikana tuko roho moja tutatembea pamoja tutajenga nyumba yetu pamoja na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeona watu wengi ambao wameolewa na watu wako na mali wanalia na ni, mimi mwenyewe nimetoka katika familia iko na mali nilitaka mwanaume mwenye atanipenda na nipendee watoto mali tutatafuta na ni kweli tunatafuta maana hatulali njaa hatulali kwa hatukai kwa nyumba ambazo si mzuri tunakaa vizuri katika ile kiwango tuko Tunashukuru Mungu na tunajua kesho na kesho kutwa tunaenda very far. So I want to encourage mwadada yote anayehitaji kuolewa, omba Mungu, ambie Mungu nipe mme ambaye ni mme wangu anayenifaa, ambaye tutatembea na yeye si mali, mali zinaisha, si nini, si kitu, si mwili atakojeka akonde, si urembo anaweza haribikiwa na sura. Lakini roho uwanadamu haubadiriki na mukibarikiwa nyenyekeeni saidieni wale watu wako chini na uheshimu wale wako juu kwa sababu kwenye unaheshimu ndiko unafika bwana wabariki mtu amen nimefurahia um hey everyone i am the mwangi i am the first born of mwangi david mwangi and naomi mwangi and on behalf of jaden jonathan and i we want to thank you all of you for standing with us e we were quite successful because we had friends Um, who supported the DJ in this time and Nini. and and I'm so grateful for for everyone and especially for my parents for giving me trust to be able to raise my brothers na wananiachia you know and also for for the people who cared for us when you walikuwa menda India we thank you everyone for being with us asante sana tunashukuru